This is DT Vision Network. Following the release of an article that shook the tech space in Nigeria containing various allegations against Flutterwave, Nigeria's most valuable startup, and particularly against its CEO, Olubenga Agbola, bordering on fraud, perjury, and sexual harassment. Co founder and former CEO of Flutterwave, Inioluwa Aboyeji, has reacted to the allegations against the company. In a chat with Digivation Network, Inioluwa speaks on his perspective. I can be very honest with you and tell you that even as an insider, I do not, I'm not 100% um, aware of, of, you know, the counts or, or allegations. I do, what I can tell you is my own um, point of view um, of it. And I think it's also helpful to keep in mind that, you know, the, our friend <laughs> um, does have a history of embellished stories. Um, and um, at the end of the day, they are already very, very clear. Um, facts that have been put out that um, are inaccurate. Um, it's very clear that I did um, help co-found the company. There's evidence to that effect. Um, it's very clear that um, process was uh, followed um, with respect to specific um, um, opportunities within the company and that we do enjoy very close collaboration with um, our banking partners um, at the time I was there. So there, there are, you know, there are things that are already embellished, and so I think it would it would require um, those with the knowledge of the insight, as you as you call it, to actually be able to piece apart what is fact and what is fiction, because that's where any anything has to start, and I think the company has a process for making this happen. You know, we've got an author here who has a history of embellished stories, and the reality is there are some things already in the story that are untrue. Um, so what makes the most sense is for us to wait and see um, what, um, it's for us to wait and see what, uh, um, what the company's own point of view is, um, and, uh, and give them an opportunity to actually set the record straight, because as we know, um, there is, Plenty of evidence already that uh, some of some of the stories that were told were embellished. I think we have to look at track record of the person who's making these accusations, right? Has he does he have a track record of uh, um, of, uh, of accurate reporting? And if he doesn't, then um, should we believe in this? Thing? I think that's the core question. And I think there is a story to be told, um, and and many perspectives about Flutterwave. Um, and um, and it's, and the kind of value it's built. Um, the one thing I'll tell you is that it has created a ton of value for a lot of people um, in a very short period of time. Um, customers, um, people who leverage it to be able to connect to the global economy, uh, and and it does have some impact. Um, now, I mean, with respect to the inner workings of the company, I have I have not been involved in the company for a while, as you know very well. So I can't really speak to the details um, but of what it is and what it's not. Uh, but I think it's very important that this record is first of all set straight so that it's easy for everybody to understand what is real and what is uh, fiction. This is DT Vision Network.